Hey Virgos, welcome to your racy card reading. As the thumbnails suggest, these cards aren't for everybody and I don't want to offend anybody, so if you're easily offended, please click off now. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you already know me, welcome back my soul family. Well, let's see what's going on with you guys. So we had the Four of Pentacles jump out straight away and the Knight of Pentacles, okay. So although you can't let go of somebody or somebody can't let go of you, Virgo, because we do have cross watchers here, um, they're too cautious in coming forward, once bitten, twice shy, right? So you could have been rejected before when you made an offer before. So it's making you overly cautious not to go ahead and make an offer again or to put yourself out there again because you know you got burnt before here but it's like you refuse to let go of um the connection or wanting somebody right because we all should have somebody and there is somebody for us all so i see that you are scared even to put yourself out there again or you may you may interpret it as i'm being cautious this time but it's coming across as overly cautious and very slow energy so if some cross watchers are watching for a virgo they haven't let go of you they're just being overly cautious coming forward so it's going to take a long time with the knight of pentacles nine of swords yeah they're overthinking everything they're worried about everything um, again, the nine's related to the hermit. So yeah, it's definitely Virgo, your feelings about this or during Virgo season, you'll be thinking about this person a lot that you can't let go of. Don't let it become unhealthy because um, it can cause anxiety. Sleepless nights even. Two of cups. So yeah, they are your soulmate, but um don't let it lead to this, like I say, this overthinking, anxiety, sleepless nights and worry. Um, could even be like worry about rejection or even meeting somebody new. You will meet um, somebody new. You will meet a soulmate or you will eventually get back with that person. You've got to let everything run its course, right? Let things unfold naturally. This is your soulmate. I get it. That's why you just can't let each other go here. Eight of Swords. Look, you know, you're obsessing about each other, but nobody's making a move towards each other here. And you can even feel stuck or tied to this soulmate with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, unable to let each other go, but can't stop thinking about them. Maybe you can't even contact them because they may have blocked you with the Knight of Pentacles. Them being overly cautious. Them overthinking the situation. Right? But you're not stuck. You can free yourself from this. We see one sword in this picture, um, but... It is like, it could be even if your soulmate is in a, another relationship. They're thinking about you a lot here. Especially during Gemini season. It's, it, I don't feel like it's going to go well with you guys. It's going to make you overthink if you don't get hold of it, right? And it could lead to sleepless nights and anxiety. The lovers, yeah, just because it's like, it's terrible knowing who your divine partner is, right? Because then you've either got to wait or you can't let them go or you can't seem to move on. You've got to process these feelings over and over again because they trigger lots of healing within you. That's the lovers card, lots of healing being triggered within you. And it's a wonderful thing and it has to happen. But it can also be quite difficult and overwhelming at times as well, right? It's like this person could even be scared of making you an offer. The strength. Okay, so you've got to really get hold of this now, Gemini, so it doesn't turn into this, okay? So when these thoughts pop up, um, you know, get hold of them, you know, um, fight back and say, you know, I'm not going to overthink about this situation. What will be, will be. Um, 
I'm not going to worry about this person. I'm not going to worry about abandonment with the Eight of Swords. I'm not going to worry about rejection. Um, I'm not going to worry about if I can't let them go just yet. I'm going to be good and kind to myself and trust that, you know, if I'm still thinking about them, it's okay. I don't have to be hard on myself. I don't have to stay up all night long wondering if they're thinking about me because they are thinking about me. That's how energy works. Right? If, you know, if you're constantly thinking about somebody, it, let's say even the, if they don't like you, they'll you'll still pop into their mind because the energy you're sending out is you are constantly thinking about them or vice versa. We know readings can go either way. And as always, I will leave information about what decks of cards I use and how to get a personal reading in the description box. Four of Cups. So you don't believe that you know, you'll find another like this and you don't believe that this person will make an offer and you believe if you make an offer, you'd be rejected or ignored even here with the Four of Cups. But you're getting tired, you're getting bored of, you know, just thinking about a relationship. You want to actually be in this relationship. You have the strength to overcome this, um, you know, and fight back during this Gemini season, okay? So don't think you don't. It's telling you that you do have the strength uh, and you're not stuck. You can stop yourself overthinking about them. Make yourself busy. You seem to be doing it at night time or um, when you have nothing else to do. So try and get your mind busy. Maybe it's because a lot of people aren't at work right now. So, yeah, you just really have to put your focus elsewhere. You could put it into redecorating the house and things like that the emperor yeah um could be a significant age difference between you guys okay but this was a very abundant love at one time it made you very happy at one time but right now um quite the opposite you could be quite sad with the four of cups and even like if you overthink it could lead into depression because you're quite bored and discontented with life you're unhappy with life at the moment um and seem quite stubborn and stuck here so I definitely feel like you know this feeling of being stuck but you're not you can free yourself from this okay so what could you do to free yourself you can reach out to them and find out once and for all hey you know are we going to speak about anything uh if they shut you down and block you you know for right now you need to move on with your life or they could speak to you and, you know, you could still take it slow. There's no harm in taking things slow as long as things have a direction. If you're left un not knowing, then that's what's causing, like, the disturbance in your energy. And it's causing blockages for good things to come your way. The Five of Wands, yeah. This is something you can overcome. You feel like you can't, but there's some hurdles in the row. So somebody will receive an offer or communication from somebody they can't get out of their mind here. And you're going to get this Mars fire energy to really get this off the ground now and get it moving. It's like courage, this five of wands. So somebody will get the courage here to speak up once and for all. Good luck, guys.